We appreciate the efforts and commitment of our British friends on Somalia. Turkey considers the London Conference as a timely and useful meeting to draw the attention of the international community to Somalia. The international community must use this historic opportunity to help Somalia. The stability and security of Somalia is crucial for the stability of its region as well as the whole continent since the country is located in the strategic heart of the Horn of Africa and on the international trade road vital for Africa and the world. Turkey will build the Istanbul Conference next June, early June, on the outcomes of the London Conference. Both conferences provide a unique opportunity for the international community to adopt common positions on Somalia. In June 2012 in Istanbul, we will aim to chart the course for the post-transition period. At the end of the day, through the initiatives which will have been taken, we will hope to change the perception that Somalia is a source of threat for its neighbors and the continent. Excellencies, during the last 20 years of Somalia, numerous initiatives have been taken, numerous international conferences have been held, several international or regional peacekeeping forces have been deployed, and foreign military interventions have been carried out. Now it is high time to make a reassessment and to develop an integrated strategy based on three pillars. First, humanitarian assistance, development and reconstruction. Second, improving security and establishing public order. And third, a political process leading an inclusive democratic government. These three pillars are integrated to each other and there is no sequence or prioritization. All of them are supporting each other. We cannot think that first security, then humanitarian development and or vice versa. All these three pillars should go hand in hand. On humanitarian ground, on the first pillar, as it has been discussed this morning in details in, during the breakfast, there, there is a need of short-term uh, short humanitarian assistance and long-term economic reconstruction development. The first condition is we have to be present and visible on the ground. We cannot have conferences distant from Somalia. All of us, we have to be present there. And here, we, are, we, want, I, we call all participant countries to open embassies. As Turkey, we opened a full-fledged embassy in November, and we are planning to extend the, uh, the functions of our embassy. And there are 12 uh, <coughs> Turkish humanitarian organizations functioning on the ground. This is psychologically very important to give the impression of normalcy that the things will be getting normalized in Somalia. As uh, Turkey, we will increase this representation and based on our experiences in Afghanistan PRT, we want to have development agencies in different parts of Somalia. Uh, and uh, we here, we admire recent UN decision to have permanent uh, presence, UN post presence in Somalia and that's a very important step to show solidarity with the Somalian people. Regarding humanitarian ground, another important issue is transport facilitation. Unfortunately, without having a proper transport and infrastructure, there cannot be public order as well. Therefore, there is a need of reconstructing airport and ports, and Turkey, we are now rehabilitating Mogadishu Airport, and Turkish Airlines is starting regular flights on 6th of March. I think that is first time there will be regular flights to Mogadishu for maybe two decades. And we will be continuing these regular flights in order to have these transportation facilities more available. The, we are happy that the famine has ended, but we cannot be relaxed. There, can be, there uh, could be some new threats this summer as well. Therefore, there is an integrated approach regarding health, food, uh, and agricultural development on the ground, and return of the IDPs and re refugees to their homes. As Turkey, uh, we have allocated 300 million US dollars for all these development assistance and uh, to uh, extend uh, our support uh, to all Somalians wherever they are. The second, on the, on the security front, there is a gradual improvement and we are happy seeing and observing this uh, improvement. And there, all of us, I think we are grateful to African Union and AMISOM and welcome the recent UN resolution. But the, we have to support AMISOM. We cannot let the security issue just to the uh, shoulders of uh, the neighboring countries and members of AMISOM. 
There is a need of international support, and Turkey is ready to do so. Uh, parallel to the activities of AMISOM, there is a need of increasing security capacity of uh, military and police organization of TFG and Somali-led public order based on the sovereignty, sovereignty of Somalia should be the basic principle of security. And after Somali-led public order being established or parallel to this, there should be a, reg a new regional security arrangement through regional ownership which will guarantee the security not only uh, in sea against piracy, but also security of, for the neighbors around Somalia. All these neighbors uh, we are observing, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, and all Djibouti, all of them, they are interdependent to each other, they are interrelated, their securities are uh, mutually uh, interrelated and therefore there should be a regional approach and to support this. On political ground, uh, we need to plan for post-August period. The transitional period will end. But the next stage should be uh, uh, restructuring political life and institutions in Somalia. Uh, there is a clear timetable in front of us as president uh, of TFG, Sheikh Sherif, Sheikh Ahmed has been uh, described uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, these, the principles are, are clear in front of us. These principles are based on roadmap Kampala Accord, the Garoa principles, and the second, second Garoa conferences. The principles, the mechanisms are there. There should not be new parallel mechanisms. We have to follow that these mechanisms are functioning properly. From today until Istanbul conference, there will be some new steps being taken on the ground by TFG, constitutional reform and other political steps. We, will, we, we need to follow up them and we need to help TFG uh, to, to uh, complete the mission in a, in a, in a, in a successful uh, manner. And in order to have this successful political process, there is a need of an inclusive uh, political recon national reconciliation. All the, all the groups denouncing, denouncing violence and terror should be part of this national reconciliation. Without national reconciliation, we cannot have a real political achievement as well as we cannot have a real humanitarian development when there are de facto authorities in different parts of Somalia. Therefore, all the uh, uh, groups of Somalia should be uh, integrated, should be working together hand in hand. Uh, in short, there, there are the, all these three pillars, humanitarian assistance, development and reconstruction, improving security and establishing pu public order, and a political process leading an inclusive democratic government. There is a need of international support and London Conference is an important step to give this support to all these uh, main prerequisites for a real progress. And in June in Istanbul, we will follow up the decisions of uh, London Conference as well as with all the participants we will plan for post-August uh, period. And we want to welcome all of you to Istanbul we hope that time we will be having a much more positive agenda and positive developments in Somalia. Thank you very much.